Well, we know you still have plenty of questions about the vaccine. We're getting a ton of them, especially as it's being rolled out to more people. Dr. Frank Me George here now with a few rapid fire answers to several questions that have been submitted through clickondetroit.com. Frank. Yeah, Devin, you know, we have received lots of questions, so let's just dive right in and get started. A viewer asks, for the first time in 60 years, I had a negative reaction to the flu shot this past November. Should I be concerned about the COVID vaccination? The answer is no. There's no known relation to how someone reacts to the flu vaccine and the COVID vaccine unless it was an allergic or anaphylactic reaction to one of the ingredients in the shot. Now, another viewer asks, I'm 77 years old and allergic to bee stings. Could I have a reaction to the COVID vaccine shot? The answer is no again. There is no known relationship between allergic reactions to insect stings and the COVID vaccine. Now, those first two questions do bring up an important distinction. The COVID vaccine can produce reactions or side effects in anyone, especially with the second shot in people under 55. Those are different than serious allergic reactions that we're specifically on the lookout for and the reason we watch everyone for 15 minutes after receiving the vaccine. Now, another viewer asks, if I have COVID-19, how long do I have to wait before getting vaccinated? The answer is, you can get vaccinated as soon as you're clear of any isolation restrictions. Now, given the currently limited availability of vaccine and the likelihood that you would have some immunity for several months, many recently recovered people are delaying their shots. Now, finally, a viewer asks, I'm due to get a second shingles shot in mid-February. Any reason that could delay or complicate getting the COVID vaccine? Now, the guidelines are somewhat arbitrary at this point because, frankly, we just don't have enough long-term information on the new COVID vaccines. It is recommended that the COVID vaccine should be separated from any other vaccine administration by at least 14 days. Back yeah. to you. Uh, by the way, good broadcasting test to say second shingles shot a couple of times in a row. <laughs> All right, Doc. Uh, these are just some of the questions, by the way, that many people have been sending us about the vaccine. So tomorrow at 1230, Dr. Frank Me George and our health producer, Sarah Mayberry, are going to hold a live discussion on our website at clickondetroit.com. So if you've got a question, log on, ask it. Again, that's tomorrow at 1230 p.m.